Hello, I'm Polyglot and today I'm going to show you how to create slider that track and stick to the element in Unity. The main goal to achieve is a slider that drags to the next or previous element based on the swipe direction and threshold. At the beginning we need to create scroll view and delete the scroll bar vertical because we scroll only horizontal in x-axis so we don't need this component okay check on scroll view that everything is deleted and we can create few images that imitate the scrolled content we create three images red blue and green for image component uh, we set 1920 width and 600 uh, height. Now we can copy and paste the elements and just change color. So red, blue, and finally green. For automatic content size, we have to add two components. First one is content size filter with horizontal fit set to preferred size and horizontal layout group without any changes. Of course, we can change height of the element to 600 and width of the scroll view to 1920 and height to 600. The last step of configuration scroll view is to hide bottom scroll bar. Just set height to zero. To scroll only in x-axis, we need uncheck vertical. We create one Bono behavior class that handle on drag event and pull to next or previous element based on the swipe direction and threshold. We need to create private float snap threshold that variable tell us after what distance we should pull to next or previous element scroll component is needed to change the actual scroll position in start method we getting scroll rect from get component method get component using generic type so we can call scroll rect and get that object. For getting events about drag end, we need to create public void method on drag end. And add event system component that calls this function. We can attach this event on code, but by using component it's much much easier. Event will be triggered every time when drag end. That gives opportunity to pull scroll bar wherever we want. Scroll bar object gives us value from 0 to 1 and if that value is outside this limit that means someone wants to scroll outside the screen. If someone scroll outside the screen we should do nothing. For void method we need to return nothing. If the value is from 0 to 1, we can manage 
the scrollable position. The best for this, I think, will be coroutine. Every time when we handle on track and event triggered by event system, we create new core routine. That core routine should be stored in a private variable. And every time when a system event a trigger on drag end, we stop core routine created before. That give us only one core routine will control scroll bar. Now we can format the code and delete update function because we use coroutine. Why do we use a coroutine? Because we can only focus on the moment after dragging is finished. And we do not block the main thread with the update function. To pull an element, we need the current position and right direction of the scroll bar the number of elements and the position of the element we are interested in relative to the scroll bar. Note that the scroll bar starts at 0 and ends at 1. So the first element has a position of 0 and the last element has a position of 1. With three elements, for example, the position are 0, 0 0.5 and 1. With this data, we know which element to scroll and by modifying interpolation ratio and snap threshold, we have additional control. By using coroutine, we also make sure that only one last is executed. We could stop creating the slider at this point, but looking at its performance, we see that it scrolls in a very aggressive way. Let's give it a little more fluidity. We are going to use the velocity of the scroll bar to do that, and we are going to set the minimum at which our drag will be activated. This will allow us to drag the scroll bar smoothly and only pull it to the element at the last moment. Great, and now we have a slider that is dragged to the element. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe for more.